Hello, my darlings. Let me not flash y'all. Mm. <laughs> it is Dion Dean. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a video that you guys have been asking me about and DMing me about. Family Thrift Outlet has arrived in Chicago. They are here. They've been open for about I want to say a month, maybe six weeks now. Um, and Family Thrift is an organization that I have been shopping from Dallas. I've shopped the Family Thrift Outlet in Fort Worth. And so now I've had the chance to shop a few times at the Family Th Family Thrift Outlet here in Chicago. It's on 35th and South Archer, I believe. Um, and it's it's been it's been it's been a journey. Um, for those of you who already shop at Family Thrift, you know that um, there are no longer any three four dollar sales on Monday. And so instead of having the three four dollar sales, they've just taken all of their overstock and all their backstock and sent it right to the outlet. So it's it's actually a really good deal. It starts the prices start at two dollars on Thursday. Make sure she's okay. Two dollars on Thursday, and then goes all the way down to twenty-five cents on Wednesday. Yes, that's how it goes. And so it goes down incrementally. Incrementally, it starts at two dollars. Then I think it's a dollar fifty, or does a dollar seventy-five? Dollar fifty, then a dollar, then seventy-five cents, then fifty cents, then a quarter on Wednesdays. Anyway, um. I've been a few times, you guys know I'm not going to come on here and tell you about a store unless I have visited that store at least a couple of times. Um, I've gone on a $2 day when it first opened. I've gone on a 50 cent day and I've gone to two 25 cent days. And they all have a different mix and a different feel. Um, when I first went, when it first opened, um, for me, it was a little more organized, just like the one in Fort Worth. Um, when I went on the 25 cent days, everything was kind of just together. And so I haven't been back on a $2 day. And so I don't know if it's organized. And by organized, I mean, you know, like pants, skirts, um, tops, sweaters, that kind of thing. That's how organized it was. And when I went on the 25 cent day, everything was kind of together. And so I will go back another, I will go back on another Thursday and take you guys with me, do a shop with me so that you can kind of see how the store is laid out and then make your own judgment. But I'm here to show you what I purchased on the 25 cent days because that's what I'm used to in Dallas. So yeah. So let's start at the beginning. <laughs> Let's start with this blazer. This is a limited blazer. You know what? Let me button it up. And I'm liking, you guys know how I feel about professional dress. And so I want my Poshmark closet to be very professional yet very funky. So this is a blazer that I got. And it, of course, it comes with a belt, but the belt came off. So if you want to see how this looks, you can see it in my Poshmark closet. But I got this limited blazer. And let me just put everything on the floor for now. Oh, I need to show you. <sighs> Going from thrifting to makeup. So I did this smoky eye and this brown lip with the new um, lip stain, new Sephora lip stains. They just got a range of browns. And so I got the lipstick and then I got the brown jumbo stick. So if you want me to do this quick smoky eye look, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and, and record that for you. But it's literally like five to seven minutes tops but the lip oh I wish I would have tried I wish I would have jumped on the brown lip train a little earlier in the fall like in Novemberish. but I was like uh, I don't know but when I tried it on in the store all right let's go back to thrifting okay <laughs> so I got these Banana Republic Harrison pants and so they were 656 but of course it was 25 cent, 25 cent day and so one thing I will say with the 25 cent days is that you are going to have to dig, honey. There was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Here goes Hurricane Riley. You okay? Are you all right? <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the video. So this is a Banana Republic sweater. 
And to be honest, that's all I was really looking for. Like Banana Republic J. Crew. Why am I showing you the price? It was 25 cents. I'm sorry. <laughs> Banana Republic J. Crew. Um, all of those professional brands that I can just, you know, put up for not, I don't want to say cheap, put up inexpensively. And there you go. This is Ralph Lauren, a Ralph Lauren sweater. Cow neck, I love this neck. You know I love the drama. Anything that's dramatic around the neck, I love. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to let you know there's a lot of stuff. Hold up. Let me show you. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> get some coffee, people. Get some coffee. <laughs> Here's another sweater. I love the drama in the neck. This is Club Monaco. And thank you guys for letting me know. So Club Monaco is, a, is under Ralph Lauren. It's a Ralph Lauren brand. And I apologize. I am... Um, because I have so much family in England that shop Club Monaco, and I don't know anybody here that really shops Club Monaco. I just thought it was a European brand. But shout out to those of you that let me know it was a Ralph Lauren brand or under Ralph Lauren. And they actually have one in Chicago, which is really, really cool. So this is a Club Monaco turtleneck. There's that. And, oh, this is a dress. And it is a well-worn dress. I think this is the Gap. Oh, no, it's Land's End. A Land's End dress. It's really pretty. I really love the color. All right. Here's another. I love the feelings. I love the merino wool. There's just so, it's just so amazingly soft and plush. This is Classique Entier. And so this is a brand that they sell at, is it Nordstrom or do they just sell it at Nordstrom Rack? I want to say I've only seen it at Nordstrom Rack. So it could just be a Nordstrom Rack brand. But yeah, very professional. So along those lines, this is Ann Taylor. I love this. I don't know if you can see the sequins. That are in there, or you can see. Beautiful cardigan. And a lot of stuff is in great condition. Now, one thing I will also but also say about going on a Tuesday, going on a Wednesday, is that you have to pay special attention because it's the dregs, right? It's the leftovers. So you want to just be mindful of that. Here is a sweater dress from Banana Republic. Love the collar. It's all about the collar. <laughs> I love this type of stuff. There is, I will say this. I've said this over and over again. I've said it, I've said it to my students. I've said it to my clients. There is no excuse for bad dressing. There's just no when you can go to a place and get clothes for 25 cents. And I'm not saying because I know a lot of places don't have, you know, Salvation Army 69 cent. I know a lot of places don't have. Hi. Hi. Look at my boo-boo giving me an amen. A lot of places don't have 69 cent, right? And a lot of places don't have 25 cent sales, right? But is there any excuse for bad dressing? From the mouths of babes. From the mouths of babes. <laughs> All right, here's this rear wedding dress. This was in really good condition. I was really scared about this part. I was like, there's no way that this could be here. Um, but yeah, it's perfect condition. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go. I got a lot of pants too. Oh, I forgot I had this. Tem oh, Lord. Tamotsu? I have seen this somewhere. I couldn't remember, but because I know I've seen it somewhere, I got it. This brand. You know what? Let me check in my phone. Because I saw it. It was a quarter. And I was like, I know I've seen that brand somewhere. I just can't remember. And so I got it. You know what? Let me check my phone. Okay. So my phone is saying Saks Fifth Avenue. And... That I guess that's what I don't know, but I know I saw it somewhere. Let me put in sacks. 
Yeah, Saks Fifth Avenue. I don't know. Anyway, I got it. It was a quarter, and I'm going to flip it. <laughs> All right. Let's do this skirt. I love this skirt. This is Ann Taylor Loft. What I love about what I love about Ann Taylor and Banana Republic for professional dress is I love the tailoring of it. When you and that's why when you go into a store, you can always tell J. Crew and Banana Republic because of the tailoring. Um, and I say that in a good way. They always do these extra little details that just make it feel a little bit more luxury. And so you can see the stitching in there. And let's turn it to the back. And so you see the gross grain waistband. Now they could have just made it a tweed waistband and, and thought nothing of it. Sorry. But they added the gross grain up top, which made it so which makes it so more luxurious. So I really, I really, really love that. I hope somebody gets that and makes it fabulous. Did I get this for me? Who is this? Who is this? Allison Fit full length. Oh. These are just some velvet pants, and I just love velvet pants. And I know it may be a little late in the season, but I figured somebody that's size 14 likes velvet, they'd snap this up. So I might actually put these up, put these up today. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that with a silver, a silver top or a red top. I think that would look really, really beautiful. And I've been thinking about doing a video on how to make stuff look expensive because if you've been following my Instagram, <laughs> I'm loving taking these pictures, darling, and showing you, bringing you into Dion Dean's world. I love to make the cheap look expensive. I love when something's 69 cents, but you pair it with a Lubu. I love when you have a 69 cent shoe or a 25 cent trench coat. I, I love it. And people are like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. I know I do. It was 69 cents. And so I want, if, if that's something that you want me to do, we can dress up this mannequin. This mannequin, for instance, the dress was 69 cents. The jacket was $2, I think. That's a $3 outfit right there. That looks like it could be a $200 outfit. That looks like it came right out of Neiman Marcus. Does it not? So let me know if you want me to do a video. We'll do a video on how to make stuff look expensive because there's a way. It's it's confidence and it's the way that you wear it, but it's also what you wear it with, like the accessories and stuff like that. So, all right. Sorry I'm making this video go so long. This is an Apartment 9 wool coat, and can you guess why I got it? The collar. <laughs> I love these big, dramatic collars. I love it. But once again, there's no excuse for bad dressing when you can get a coat like this for a quarter. Come on, people. If you need me to shop with you, let me know. I need to do a meetup at Family Swift Outlet. I may call them and see if we can do a meetup. And we'll just shut it down and I'll just help y'all look cute for 25 cents. Um, oh, and I got this vintage coat. Oh, I need to steam it. This is uh, Rothschild. Look at this vintage coat. I hope that you can see the blue. Look at the intensity of the blue. Look at that. Oh, look at the detail. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I saw this and I was like, I may have to keep that in the back somewhere for when I get down. I don't think I'm ever going to get down to that side. But <laughs> and then I got two pairs of shoes. I'm not going to show you like, oh, well, I guess I'll show you. I got these sandals from Talbots. Now, I don't need to buy another shoe. Because I have so many in my eBay store, Poshmark store, port Poshmark closet, sorry. But I got these. I couldn't resist for a quarter. Come on. Isn't that pretty? And then I got these to Hari. And I could probably just keep these. I think this would be really cute with some, um, I might keep these. With some distressed jeans and a blazer. I might keep these. Eating for my own supply. <laughs> But anyway, that's it. Um, my overall assessment, it's definitely worth a visit. If you're in Chicago, if you're coming in from out of town, it's definitely, definitely worth a visit. Um, so, you know, if you're here for 69 Cent Saturdays, swing on by to the outlet and see what you can get. I'm going to go back on a Thursday just to see how it is. I'm going to let you know that Wednesdays when it's a quarter, everything is just together and it's a lot. Um, 
but I think Thursdays are better. So I'll go back this Thursday. Follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean so that you can see all that I find and what the store looks like and so on and so forth. All right. Um, so yeah, we never pay retail. Follow me on Instagram and let me know if you wanna if you want me to do this look and if you want me to do a how to make thrift look expensive video. And I feel like I need to do some kind of tutorial meetup styling day workshop thing because this is who I am this is the essence of who I am making the inexpensive look expensive oh that might be the name of the workshop let me know if you're interested so you have a lot of commenting to do after this video all right love you we never pay retail bye